A family at peace. A Connecticut woman becomes the first non-resident to use Vermont's medical aid in dying law. She passed away this morning. Now, Connecticut does not have this law, which allows terminally sick patients to end their life with a physician's assistance. NBC Connecticut's Julie Sherman spoke with the woman's family today. And Julie, we understand she was a big advocate for something like this. Yeah, that's right. Linda Bluestein suffered from terminal cancer for quite some time and fought to make medical aid in dying legal in our state. It's not there yet, but just last year, she reached a settlement in Vermont that allowed her to use medical aid in dying to end her life. I feel grateful. That's how Jacob Shannon feels after saying goodbye to his 76-year-old mother, Linda Bluestein, on Thursday. She was going through a lot of pain, um, and that was hard to watch. Jacob's mother was diagnosed with stage 4 ovarian and fallopian tube cancer in February 2021. He says the constant pain and suffering turned her into a fierce advocate for what's called medical aid in dying. This allows terminally ill people to end their life with medication prescribed by his or her doctor. Only 10 states in Washington, D.C. have this law in place. Connecticut doesn't. Having some sort of choice in how this was going to end was her last wish. While Jacob's mother couldn't change the law in Connecticut, she made a big impact in Vermont after reaching a settlement with the state in February to become the first non-resident to access medical aid in dying. A couple months later, the Green Mountain State removed its residency requirement entirely. Some lawmakers in Connecticut say they've been trying to make this a law for years. We have brought that before the Public Health Committee uh, for over 10 particular sessions, and I'm hoping we do it again in 2024. Rep Keith Denning is a certified nurse of more than 40 years. He says he met Linda Bluestein last fall and wished more could be done for her. But her family says they're happy she's finally at peace. I'm grateful that she succeeded in what she really wanted to do. Now, Linda was surrounded by family this morning when she died. Her husband said this in a statement, quote, Linda took flight this morning at 915, her passing comfortable and peaceful. Her last words were, I'm so happy I don't have to do this, suffer anymore. And we also reached out to Connecticut Right to Life and lawmakers against this issue, but have not heard back. Reporting in studio, Jolie Sherman, NBC Connecticut News. Jolie, thank you. Well,